They are all desperate to keep the governor from removing the tax exemption from their pensions. It seems like it's no hope. We just keep taking away, take, things is just being taken away. Yet their demeanor is subdued and respectful. After all, this is the Supreme Court. Here you hear you now, the Chief Justice and Justices of the Supreme Court of the State of Michigan. The case itself is a preemptive strike by Governor Snyder. Anticipating a legal challenge, he's asked the justices to consider the constitutionality of the new law, specifically a section of the Constitution dealing with, quote, accrued financial benefits. Both sides of the argument were long and laborious, but here's the bottom line for stakeholders like Lieutenant Governor Calley. If the Constitution prohibited taxing pensions, it would be spelled out. They would have said these are tax exempt. In fact, they did that with respect to property for religious and educational organizations. They said that property is tax exempt. It's right in the Constitution. It doesn't say that about pension distributions. But retirees, unions, and AARP think the law violates the Constitution. There's a special constitutional provision which says that the retirement income of public employees cannot be diminished. So once it's accrued, once the work's been performed, this, the state can't come in behind and then reduce that income. Because the law is scheduled to go into effect this January, we're told the justices will begin their deliberations immediately. However, the justices have other important matters to consider. For now, all retirees can do is wait and worry. That's going to make a big difference in what we are able to do in retirement uh, would have changed the date on which we may have retired. From Lansing, Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News.